First of all, congratulations to Carlos Yulo for having two gold medals recently and bringing glory to our country once again. Whenever there's an athlete that represents the country, that itself is a win already. Imagine you made it that far, representing a country. How much more happiness you bring when you win, right? Here's something I don't agree about what Carlos said in an actual interview. Hello everyone, welcome to Sela Time with Eric. Thank you for tuning in. Sabi po niya, I learned a lot in the failure I had in Japan. According to him, he worked hard after that. In a perspective that could be true, that he learned from that failure leading him to practice even more. But, but, that failure is actually part of his success. His success is not just the moment he earned the gold medals. It started way, way before that. The success is from the time he learned to mumbling or magtambol or magvertical sa yun po tawag sa amin. <laughs> Failure is part of success. Failure is part of overall victory. When you fail and you keep moving forward, you did not fail at all. Para pong pag-YouTube yan, tingin nyo po ba may result na sa first video? For more episodes, please follow this podcast, Sala Time with Eric. O kaya sa second, yung pang 30, may prostration pa rin yun. E paano pa yung pang 100 kaya? Kapag nakagawa ka na ng 500 videos, marami ng learning yun. Yung ikat 520 video mo, baka yun na yung mag-deliver ng result. Hindi ibig sabihin na yung first video mo ay failure. Doon ka kasi nag-start. Ganon din po sa life. And that's how we see failure in a different light. It is not failure. Here's what we can see in Deuteronomy 8.18. Sabi po doon, But remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so, confirms His covenant which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. Are we going to talk about prosperity now? No. We are actually talking about failure and how we can see or adjust our perspective, seeing it like never before. Think about this. You produce wealth, but it is not because of you. Someone gives you the ability to produce wealth, and it doesn't happen in a single night. Di po ba? Some people studied education, yung pagpipicture, and then they have become successful team leader in a BPO industry. Does that mean that their four-year studies of education is a failure? No. Some people studied engineering and they have become successful online streamer. May mga ganyan po. Some people studied microbiology and they now have franchised businesses or they become self-employed. Failure is inside the circle of success. Failure is like your rehearsal for the bigger things ahead. Just like what happened to Yulo, our golden boy, di po ba? He thought he failed. Pero yun nga, kasi live interview yun eh. There's something common about people who have the ability to produce wealth. May common sa kanila. I'm talking about wealth in a sense of honest wealth, okay? They all started with something small. Everyone had the humble beginning. The small eventually became big. And when they can't hold it anymore, nandamay na sila ng iba pa. They let other people manage it. First, they were managing it. And then, they teach people how they do it, how they manage it. And they let them do it. Something so nice with Carlos Yulo is when he acknowledged that it is from the Lord. This interview, he said, it's all because of God. So I'm thankful, okay, Lord. I think that's the very essence of remembering the Lord your God. When you reach the top, you know that you should go down. Want to be in the loop? You can reply to the question on this episode. 